Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When Mary brought her treasure unto the holy place, no eye of man could measure the joy upon her face. He was but six weeks old, her plaything and her pleasure, her silver and her gold. Then Simeon on him gazing with wonder and with love, his aged voice upraising, gave thanks to God above. Now welcome, sweet release, for I, my Savior praising, may die at last in peace. As by the sun in splendor the flags of night were furled, so darkness shall surrender to Christ who lights the world, to Christ the star of day. Once was small and tender a candle's gentle ray. The Holy Spirit had revealed to Simeon that he would not see death until he had seen the Lord. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit had revealed to Simeon that he would not see death until he had seen the Lord. As the law prescribed, they offered to the Lord a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As the law prescribed, they offered to the Lord a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared, in the sight of every people. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him, everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him, everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A reading from Hebrews chapter 4. 
We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet never sinned. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and favor to find help in time of need. The Lord has made known his saving power. The Lord has made known his saving power, which he has prepared in the sight of every people, his saving power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has made known his saving power. Today the Blessed Virgin Mary presented the child Jesus in the temple, and Simeon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, took him in his arms and gave thanks to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today the Blessed Virgin Mary presented the child Jesus in the temple, and Simeon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, took him in his arms and gave thanks to God. Today our Savior was presented in the temple, let us adore him as we say, Lord, may our eyes see your saving power. Christ Jesus, you are the light that enlightens all nations. Shine upon those who do not know you, that they may come to believe in you, the one true God. Lord, may our eyes see your saving power. You are the Redeemer and the glory of your people, Israel. May your church proclaim your salvation to the ends of the earth. Lord, may our eyes see your saving power. Jesus, desire of the nations, Simeon, the just man, rejoiced at your coming. Lead all men to recognize that you still come to them. Lord, may our eyes see your saving power. Lord, when you were presented in the temple, Simeon foretold that a sword of sorrow would pierce your mother's heart. Strengthen us to accept the sufferings we endure for the sake of your name. Lord, may your eyes see your saving power. Christ Jesus, joy of all the saints, Simeon longed to see you before he died, and his prayer was answered. Hear our plea for all the dead who still yearn to see your face and see you face to face. Lord, may our eyes see your saving power. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.